Well, guys, this is the year. This is the year of overcoming fears. Um, last year I overcame a lot, but now this is the year where I'm gonna start performing live, and that's a whole nother set of fears that I just have to walk right through. Just gotta walk right through it. Just walk through it. It's not about not having fear, it's about walking through it. That is courage, right? Ooh, breathe, Laura. I'm gonna rehearse my stand-up set because the show is tomorrow and uh, it's gonna be fine. It's 10 minutes of my life. Um, yeah, dude, I'm gonna rehearse it and I'm gonna film it so I can watch myself back and go, you fucking idiot. I'm gonna spend the next hour just rehearsing. I'm gonna film it and time it and see because I don't wanna go over 10 minutes because I hear that's a really bad thing to do. Um, okay, all right, cool, we're doing it. I'm gonna use this little drumstick as my microphone. <laughs> I just thought it was a funny thing to say. Are they too pink? No. Like, for, like as a guy, like, do you look at my lips and you're like, mm, too pink? No, guys never think about lip colors, but, by the way, but do ever. You, but do you, though, if they're a bad lip color? I've never seen a bad lip color. Like, some guys hate red lipstick. I've heard that. I don't. It doesn't bother you when they have dark lipstick on? The only thing I don't know. When only I had weird. dark lipstick one time, he was like, whoa! No, you had like really dark lipstick. Exactly, and, and he hated it. It was that me. cool matte lipstick. But remember when you filled your eyebrows in, really? Did you do something crazy? You did something I dyed my eyebrows once. And, and, and then we went to a party mm -hmm. with uh, your friend. And yeah, she with said, this girl, this woman, Kristen Johnston. So she was on that show, Third, Third Rock, Rock from, from the, the Sun. Sun. Now my dad used she to love that She was the alien. Show. And we met her, That's right. we had our um, <laughs> one year wedding anniversary one in year. Santa Barbara. Yeah. And so we were at this hotel. Yes. And we meet the Kristen Johnson. Well you saw her at the pool, didn't yeah. you? How did that happen? How I just saw happen? her and I was like, oh my God, I'm a fan, you're great. She's an amazing comedic actress. She's really yeah, amazing. She and then we ended up hanging out with her the whole weekend. We did. And um, her and her friend Fagsy, no joke. That's this, his name. This gay Fagsy. guy, and he's like, call me Fagsy. Like, if I said Fagsy on a, on a it would vlog, be I'd get in trouble, wouldn't but I? But his name, it's like he's taking back the power of that word. And Fagsy he, Malone. Fagsy Malone. Yeah. And we hung out with Fagsy. And Hi, and, Fagsy Malone. Yeah. What about if that was my actual name in real life? I don't know. Like, if your mom named you that? Yeah. I'd probably change it. You but it works for Fagsy. It's perfect for him. Why can't um, I be called Fagsy Malone? No. So we hung out with Fagsy and Kirsten Johnston the whole oh weekend. God, it was really fun. And I remember we went to this pizza restaurant and then yes. all, the, the, all the waiters were like freaking out That's over right. her. That's right. Yes. Oh, and get this. She actually got me to download T Twitter. Twitter. She and was like, social media. You she was like, you to need to get this. on social Why media. Why are you not doing this? Why yeah. are you not doing this? And you were like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, and she was like, just get on Instagram, take a picture and upload it. You need to do it. She did. And I thought it was so weird. And those were like some of my very first posts. No, you didn't even do it. She, like, she made she, you like, do like two. It. Yeah. And then you didn't do it ever again. 
And then the next no, time you I saw well, it. Obviously, I did it ever again. No, you didn't do it until the, a year oh, like later. A year later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe two years later. Yeah. Maybe three years later. Yeah. Two and a half years later. Yeah. Two years later. Yeah. One year later. We're just going to keep. Three years, three <laughs> months later. Four years later. Four and a half years later. Not sure what's happening right now. Um, but yeah, so what were we talking about though? Yes. Oh, oh, so yes. So we became friends that weekend and then she invited us to a party, like yes. whatever, some months later or whatever. Yes. And I had just gotten my eyebrows done and I had the woman dye them darker. You did. And my hair was really light. I liked it. And I had dark brows because I thought it looked cool. It did well, look cool. Kristen like made fun of me the whole night. She was like, you look crazy. <laughs> like, you look insane. Who did that to you? She did say you look Who insane. did that to you? Yeah, she did. She had this low voice. I felt sorry for you because she was taking it. But I thought it looked nice. This she is was like, point. and your hair is way too blonde. Who did that to you? Uh, but I thought, this is the point, is that I, did, I thought it looked nice. Right. But what I'm saying is... Lip color. Right. You don't like when I wear lipstick that's too dark. You once wore lipstick that I feel was for a black lady. <laughs> Perhaps I might have gotten it from my friend Jenna. I knew it! Who happens to be black. Yes, it seemed like a black lady's lipstick on a white lady and it just didn't seem to match. It was just a black lady's lip color. Like it was just, it, it was like a chocolate, like a dark chocolate. Exactly. Color. It looked... It made me look a little gothic. He was petrified. He was like... <laughs> made you look a bit crazy. Yeah. Not crazy. Okay, so what were you going to ask me, though? I was going to say, how did it go? So, so we're getting ready yeah. to show tomorrow. Her show tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so I basically spent the last couple hours rehearsing, as you saw. And I was banished from the house. Not allowed to be in the house. Because it's awkward when I'm rehearsing a stand-up show to have him just sort of walking around. But I said I'll be on my headphones, but she didn't believe me. I don't believe you. I was on my headphones. I was listening to a podcast. You said you were going to be on your headphones yesterday, yes. and then I walked into your studio, and you weren't. You didn't have your headphones then. But I was listening to music. I was doing music. I honestly wasn't. I did. By the way, I haven't heard a single bit of the stand up. Not one bit. No, I've told you about bits Apart that I'm doing. Apart from the bits I've you've told, told me. I've actually told you. You know a lot. Yes, but I haven't heard you rehearsing it once. Not once. I just think it's awkward. But I'm also awkward. I remember one time oh, my agents had me come in to pitch a show. Oh, yeah. And so I had to do like a rehearsal pitch. So they basically are like, you come in and pretend that we're the network executives. <laughs> Bless you. He has the most terrifying sneeze ever. Sorry. It's so loud. Literally, every time he sneezes, it's like, ah! Well, it's not as aggressive as that. But a lot of times it is. Like, it's, that was a light one. It's like a little fairy. It's not. It's in your petrifying. Ear. And he's. It's a and tiny and that, was fairy a, that was a lighter one than normal. This was like a that angel. That was angel. One. Angel. Yeah, sneeze. that was nothing compared to. Little, beep, beep, but your dad does beep. the same thing, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, same he does, thing. He, does, he sneezes the same way when I was at in Faversham. I was like, God, yeah. both of you. Yeah. Your mom and I were laughing about that. Oh, moves, the famous moves. Yes, so, moves. So, okay, where was I? Yes. So, um, yeah, so I had to do a practice pitch, right? And my agents are like, just pretend that we're the network executives and um, let's see how you're going to pitch your show. And I thought that was so stupid because they're not the network executives. They're my agents. And I was like, hey, guys. Um, so I grew up in, um, in Chicago. And I've always, loved, I've always loved to do comedy. Um, I can imagine. It was so bad. And they were like this. <laughs> and they were just thinking to themselves, this bitch doesn't know how to go in a room and sell a room and pitch a room. This bitch doesn't pitch. Yeah, this bitch doesn't pitch, exactly. You can have that for now, free. Now, and then like halfway through the the rehearsal pitch, I was like, I can't do this. I'm like, you're not, like I know that you're not executive, it's so stupid. And it just got really silent and awkward and they sort of gave up. Well, anyway, we went in the production company to pitch then two days later and I killed. I was so good in there because I was actually talking to producers. Like I was actually in it, so it didn't seem weird. 
Now, it's the same type of thing with stand-up. If you're doing it for no one or for one person, it's super awkward. Because it's not meant for one person. Stand-up is meant to be you standing in front of a crowd of people who came to laugh. Not one person who probably knows a lot of the jokes and knows my story, so isn't really going to laugh the way that a stranger is. So that's why it's awkward, but I know that I'm being neurotic. And by the way, I also want to say I'm really, really grateful for all of your comments, over 400 comments, incredible oh, yeah. advice. That's good. You guys have no idea how much that touched me and really made me feel like I can do this, I'm capable. All that love and support was so amazing. I feel just really blessed and thank you for that. Seriously, amazing advice. Really good advice, Yeah, I right? even saw some great ones. There's some great recommendations of, of comedians. Uh, Victoria Wood, I've yeah, forgotten like, about Victoria Oh, yes, Victoria someone Wood. Um, told me that I reminded them of Victoria Wood. I started watching all her stuff, and I was like, oh, my God, I love her, and I can see similar comedic sensibilities, and it would just really help me. I've been watching a lot of Richard Pryor. That's been really mm, strangely, I like, I relate to him on a very strange level, even though... He's a black male from a totally different generation. There's such a, I just can't describe why I identify with him so much. It's very strange, but anyway. Um, so I think his style, because it's so much about storytelling and being animated. It's just the style I think that I resonate with. Well, I was gonna. What would we? So, so tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film it. But I'm just trying to think. Is that tomorrow's? They might see it tomorrow, but they'll see it the day after tomorrow. Me filming the tomorrow's show, because it's in the evening. You made no sense. Okay. So I'm saying I'm going to be filming the show. Okay. For the vlog. Why are we talking about that now? Because, well, good point. <laughs> Thank you for pointing it out. Yeah. Yeah. You weirdo. But he's going to film it. Oh, so now you're saying it. <laughs> you're going to film it so I can watch it. Why are you back talking about it like, now? Oh. <laughs> well, because you brought it up, so now yeah. I feel the need to elaborate on it. It looks weird. It oh, is a little look strange. Look how weird that looks. Yeah, you're <gasps> <all fake. laughs> I'm going to right over your face. It's just me now. Hello, everyone. Can Sorry, you not it's do just that? me today. <laughs> Look how big my finger looks. Why is your finger bigger than my <laughs> head? Uh, back next week with Stephen's finger. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, Stephen's finger, thank you for watching. Shows tomorrow. Everyone, pray for me. Um, I love you all. Thanks for your support. One last thing, just mm -hmm. before we go. Some people have been putting pictures of bread rolls on Facebook. Bad people. That was a joke. Everyone's putting pictures of bread rolls. They're all going to throw it at my head. There's been a few pictures. Of, someone put a bread basket. Did you see that one? I didn't see the bread <laughs> basket. Sorry. No, it's fine. So, Alright, yeah. guys. Um, until tomorrow. Love you all. Oh, and um, some of you guys were talking about wanting to see the story of the, our proposal. How he yeah. proposed. So I'm interested to hear what else you want to know about our relationship. We want to do a relationship vlog every Wednesday. Yes. So right below what you want to see is the proposal, the second date. What do you What do you want to know? Yeah. Um, the first time we made sweet, sweet love. Oh, Jesus. And what was the second date? Who remembers their second date? I sure as hell do. What was it then? See? Who remembers their second date? No one. See? No idea, right? Was that when we went to Santa Monica? No. And walked Sid? No, that was the first one. But that wasn't like really a date? Oh, wait. Yeah. No, that was it. Because then we went back to your house and watched a movie. We did. Let's the next one. The next one's yes. going to be about that because that was funny. Okay. All right, guys. Comment below. Love you. Subscribe. And uh, yeah, we did it. Bye. Bye. She walks on the tracks with the rebel beside her. She walks on the tracks with the rebel beside her. She walks on the tracks with the rebel beside her. Wind picks up and she feels.
much lighter